This might be one of the shirts worn by Barack Obama when he's here for the APEC meetings. Designed by our very own White Kids Song, the shirts were designed to reflect the nation's culture. What was the inspiration behind the designs? Let's speak to the man himself. The first thought was um, had to be comfortable, um, had to be um, you know modern and sophisticated. It's not costumey. Hoping that they would pull out their wardrobe and wear it again. Um, so, so these were the things that were going through my head while I was thinking about the design. In terms of reflecting our our culture, we don't we don't have much of our own culture to call you know our own. Uh, um, we we have a hybrid of different cultures, and 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 then we call it Peranakan. You know, so so it was it was a natural choice to really look at the different motives and the different details of of our Peranakan um, heritage. Could you tell us a bit more about the motif? This is um, yeah. I mean, I it's not like an orchid. No, no, it. it's actually a lotus, and it's picked up from um, the the Peranakan tiles that we find in the old shop houses. And um, and what what we did was um, it's actually embroidered and hand laced. And also what we've done is we have also incorporated um, the the cufflinks into the outfit. Um, it's actually blue white. The shirts will make their debut next month when Singapore hosts its first APEC meeting since 1990. Organizers hope that the shirts will make a lasting impression on the leaders of the 21 APEC member economies. Uh, well, we started off thinking about what kind of experience we wanted the leaders to have while they were here. And we thought that uh, first and foremost, uh, as a host, we wanted to be warm. We wanted them to be comfortable. So the outfit had to be comfortable. Um, and, and more than that, uh, you know, in the past, it has been that the leaders would wear the outfit for a few minutes, take that photo and take it off. We wanted them to be sufficiently comfortable that they would wear it for the entire evening. So with that, I think the shape of the outfit uh, becomes set in a certain way. Um, it had to be something that reflected our, our tropical climate. It had to be something that they would want to wear again. Uh, we had a certain idea of what kind of outfit that might be like. I mean, we looked around at all the designers in Singapore and their past collections, and that was where it became apparent to us that Waikit's style suited what we were looking for. Uh, Waikit himself also comes with a vast amount of experience, both in Singapore and internationally. Uh, we also wanted to be able to showcase what Singapore designers are capable of doing and to be, be able to be proud of them. Um, and we felt that he would certainly be able to do us proud. The APEC leaders can choose from three different colours, green, blue and red. Why did you decide on these three colours? Or why different colours in fact? Why not just one colour for all? Well, it makes uh, an interesting picture. Right. Okay. No, but then the colours were picked up from the APEC logo. So red, green and blue. Um, and I mean, it's a nice combination. Um, and the colours are very subtle, so it's not, it's not in your face. It's it's quite sophisticated. It does reflect, you know, Singapore, you know, in terms of the colours. You know, it's not, um, it's, it's a bit muted, it's a bit um, grown up, you know? Yeah. It's all about the females then. Yeah, um, this, this, we're dressing the president from Philippines and um, Chile. Right. So there's two of them. And it's not, it's not ready yet, so it's still being worked on. And, uh, but then the design we can reveal is going to be like this. The outfit may have been reviewed, but the organizers are still keeping mum about who is wearing what colour. And for that, we will have to wait till leaders like Barack Obama arrive in Singapore in mid-November. But amongst all these leaders, who does Waikid feel is the most fashionable? I don't really keep in touch with what they're wearing, but... Um, you know, Obama's the youngest, and <laughs> I think he would be the most aware of what he would be wearing. But then, you know, our, our Prime Minister looks good. I have to say I'm actually quite proud to see the PM in amongst the world leaders because he's got presence. And, you know, he cuts a good figure in his suit, so, you know, we'll, it's, quite, it's quite good. 
Would you ever want to design like a suit for him? Yeah, I mean, if you ask me, yeah, sure. I'm giving my card. <laughs> so perhaps the next time we see our PM, he might be donning another one of Waikit Song's designs. Till then, we'll have to wait for the traditional group photo taking session on 14 November to see Waikit's designs in their full glory.